morning of May 24th. Today, Sarah Josepha Hale's Mary Had a Little Lamb was first published, a true story based on a girl named Mary who had a little lamb, whose fleece was essentially as white as snow. 170 years later, it's Monday, I'm Molly, and this is Rocket Boom. Have you ever been into collecting rocks? Have you ever had a geode or a meteorite? If you were an avid rock collector, how far would you go to add to your collection? Mission plans are underway. Said to be the most complex and expensive undertaking in the history of space exploration, as NASA and the ESA partner to send two robots, no, not those kinds of robots, yeah, probably something a little more like a rover, but upgraded, to Mars, to drill and collect samples, and then bring them all the way back to Earth. To add to the collection, they might be hoping to find life, but you know they are going to be finding some rocks, and it would be sweet to get in on getting some. And why risk all that looking for life on Mars anyway, when you could just bring it, or just whip some up while you're there? Having cracked the genome, Craig, Venter and Gang have now succeeded in creating the first real-life artificial organism. A lot like playing Spore, you could just create whatever kind of thing you want. You could make bugs that only eat mosquitoes, or maybe design trash-eating animals. How about an organism that grows to be a big glob of goo a thousand stories tall in one day and then self-reproduces at a rate of a million times a second? i.e. back to the much needed for sustaining life space exploration category. Japan successfully launched its Venus Climate Orbiter, off to study the planet's climate more closely. Unlike most of Earth, which has plenty of oxygen, Venus is more like New York City, which is veiled in carbon dioxide and has high temperatures with thick acid clouds of sulfur. Could Japan's trip to Venus be a self-fulfilling prophecy for its leaders? Japan's first lady was not from Venus, was only visiting. This was the headline of a New York Times article from late last year profiling Mayuki Hatayama, wife of Prime Minister Yukio Hatayama. While my body was sleeping, I think my spirit flew on a triangular-shaped UFO to Venus. It was an extremely beautiful place and was very green. Her first husband suggested that it was probably just a dream, but Mr. Hatayama, she insisted, would not be so dismissive. My current husband has a different way of thinking, she said. He would surely say, oh, that's great. And now they are on their way. In related, investigators raided Tom Cruise's Church of Scientology in Turin, Italy on Thursday, uncovering a hidden stash of sensitive personal information collected on individuals deemed to be enemies of the church, including former members, police, journalists, and no doubt a long list of anonymous IP addresses and aliens from outer space. As it turns out, the First Lady of Japan not only wrote that she rode in a UFO to Venus, but that she also knew Tom Cruise in a former incarnation, at a time when Tom Cruise was Japanese. So I'm sending this letter to the authorities in Italy. The information they need is likely already on its way to Venus. Molly had a synthetic lamb, its DNA's from Mars.